can run away, babe Always be my best friend Through the rain and the dark of night Even when the sun don't shine You and me gon' be here, baby As we shine This loving is forever, you should know by now And I'ma always love you cause it's you and I Ooh, I this loving is forever, you should know by now And I'ma always love you cause it's you and I Ooh, I Good morning, diamonds and beams Okay, so last night I met up with Adam For a short period of time Now with that being said, um Adam took off, so, because of the situation that had happened with the hostage negotiation, not the hostage negotiation, just the hostage, hostage situation, right? So, then, I'm over here, basically a single mother, taking care of our child. Now, one thing I will not tolerate, and Adam, if you're watching this, I want you to listen to me carefully, okay? Because I've told you before that I am not going to involve our son in all this bullshit that you've been going through. Yeah, I'm going to ride for you, I'm going to die for you, I'm going to stick it out till the end, right? And I don't want nothing to happen to you because... Of this little boy right here. You understand me? You see that? Now, I honestly know that you had nothing to do with this situation, right? But I refuse to have our son involved with this. I'm not going to lie. So, and I ref also refuse to have him, like, in therapy. Because he don't even need to to be dealing with this, right? So, I just wanted to get that clear, like crystal clear. So, I don't know what you plan on doing, but you made a promise to me last night that you would stay in contact, and I haven't heard from you. So, I hope you're okay. I hope you get in contact with me. And I'm going to hold the, our channel down. I'm going to hold you down. But I refuse to have our son involved with this. Do you understand me? So, I just want to let that be known. Anyways, um, I'm just like sitting here and I'm, what, I'm going through everything that had happened within the last 72 hours, right? So, I, I'm just like, I'm, I want to say flabbergasted, but I don't think that's the correct word I'm looking for. But at the same time, I'm just like, fuck it. And... I'm going to continue being the mother that I am and taking care of my son, or our son, right? So basically, I'm a single mom now, and it's hard, and I feel like I've been a single mom this whole fucking time, and that's not going to change. I'm still take care of my baby because he is my number one priority, right? And I'm going to ride for my man, and I'm going to make sure he's good. But I hope he stays in contact with me at the same time, too. So, I'm just trying to figure everything out. And then I got this um, other situation happening where... Somebody that I do business with wants to meet with me tomorrow, so I got to take care of that and handle that. I got to handle that. So, 
I'm going to take care of that tomorrow. And I don't know. I'm just like, I need, I feel like I need a drink. This needs to be like a drunk series. Comment down below if you missed the drunk series because I'm curious. Um, and the other thing is, is it just me? Or do you get hype when you see your homie that you haven't seen in a while, right? Like, you, you still talk, right? But you haven't seen them in a while, and it's like you can pick up where you left off. That's how I feel, because my homegirl Faithful was down, and y'all know me and her, like, you know, so... I just miss, I miss her. I miss you, bitch. If you're watching, I miss you. Hit me up. Like, for real, for real. Come see this one right here. Come see him. Mm -hmm. Are you going to say hi to the diamonds and the beams, bug? Mm -hmm. What you got to say? Wanna say hi to daddy? Wanna say hi to daddy? Yeah. I gotta be honest with you. You're the only one that's keeping me going, you know that? Yeah. Yeah, your beautiful smile. My beautiful oh. my beautiful baby boy. Yeah. You're the only one that's keeping mommy going. And keeping mommy strong. You know that? I'm giving a shout out to five of my beams for the ones who've been the most uh, active and who message me. So the first shout out goes to Brandon Nurse. The second shout out goes to, I don't know if you can see that, but Breaking Keys. <laughs> So, I want to give a shout out to UKT underscore 77. Any sexy? Mm hmm. So, UK, UKT underscore 77. And the last shout out goes to Trade a Man. You know, I feel like a hot mess. I don't even, I don't even feel like getting out of bed. To be honest with you, I'm not getting out of bed. I don't even feel like getting out of bed, to be honest with you. I don't want to get out of bed. So I feel like chilling. Actually, to be honest with you, I feel like having a glass of wine. But I'm not going to do it until he is in bed. Mm -hmm. It's either a glass of wine or a shot. That's what I feel like having. But I'm going to do it when he goes to sleep. Let me know in the comments. Do you guys miss the drunk series? Because I honestly miss it. I'm thinking about bring it, bringing it back. Should I bring it back? Did you just say that? Good morning, diamonds and beams. Um, okay. What do you say? You say the morning bug. <coughs> Anyways, um, so I'm sitting here and I'm thinking about like safety nets. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sitting, 
I'm sitting here, and I'm thinking that I'm basically a safety net. Now, what I mean by that is, like, because of the situation that has happened, I feel like I'm a man's safety net. It's a good thing and it's a bad thing because it's a good thing because you're supposed to support each other <coughs> no matter what in a relationship, right? But I also feel like it's bad because it's like you have no other option. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm beginning to feel. And last night, Adam and I were talking about, like, um, a bunch of stuff. Like, when we eventually <coughs> live together again and stuff like that. Now, right now, I feel like because of the situation, I honestly don't want to live with him. I'm... I honestly feel that I should just, like, keep doing what I'm doing, taking care of my son, making sure my son is good and straight first, making sure Adam is straight first and safe, most importantly. And that's what I'm beginning to feel and think. So I'm just, like, sitting here and thinking, like, am I his safety net? Like, I know I'm his woman, but... There's only so much one person can take, especially this woman, before I reach my breaking point. So, I'm sitting here and I'm contemplating and I'm thinking about it. So, I'm just like, what the hell is going on here? What did I get myself into? Like, I knew I chose this life, and I have a beautiful baby out of the equation, but at the same time, I'm just like, my life is like a movie. It's a fucked up movie. It's a fucked up movie. Speak of the devil. Anyways, um... And if you're wondering why I put that as my thing instead of husband, it's because, like, when I'm mad, I change the names of my phone. And I got, like, so many names for different people in my, in my phone. Like, stressful man, dickhead, um, not today, Satan. Yeah, so I always change the names of my phone, but when I'm... Over being mad, I put the names back if I can remember the name. <laughs> like, it counted with the number. <sighs> I'll be back. Now you all see why I have that name in my phone. Stressful. Man. So, as it's unfolding currently right now, um... This is going to be a perfect episode for Mama Needs a Drink. <sighs> My God. Okay, anyways. Um, so, anyways. Um, so, as it happens, Adam is, an even, is in an even tougher position right now as we speak. And... I just got a note from, like, his family, and, like, I just got word from his family about something that's about to happen. So, this is why, no, yeah, this is why, like, what the fuck did I do? Like, seriously, what did I do? I'm just curious. I didn't sign up for this. I didn't sign up for this point blank period. So, um, and here's the thing. I literally just woke up. And this is what I woke up to. Oh my 
my gosh. Okay. Lord. Why me? Why is this man doing this to me? What did I do? What what did I do? Like seriously, was I like you know, digmatized or something? Like what is it? Like literally I'm shaking right now. So I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know. I like I said, I just woke up and this is what I'm waking up to. So I'm gonna see you guys in a little bit. The situation is unfolding. It's getting worse and worse by the minute. So, I'm trying, like, you know how I told you yesterday that I had a business meeting to, like, some business to handle? So, I'm not going to do that right now because I got, like, a lot of shit on my plate and this, this, this ain't happening. And... Like, y'all know that I'm extremely cautious, especially when it comes to my kid. So, um, I don't know how to, how to handle this, how to deal with it, but I'm dealing with it. And I'm, I guess, God is testing me, and this is not the way that I planned for 2020 to start out for me or my son. So, I'm gonna go, um... I will, I will talk to y'all tomorrow if you enjoyed the vlog and are enjoying our vlogality, let us know in the comments down below, uh, kiss to missus, and don't forget to keep shining bright like the diamonds and the beams that you are, I love you guys so much, hustle hard, I'm out.